Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to today's video. My name is Azaniah. Um, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much. So today I'm going to jump right into the video. The, this video is a comprehensive review of Oil Perfumery, which is a oil fragrance brand. Um, I have about 75 individual uh, oil scents from Oil Perfumery. Um, and I also have about a third of those I have in the actual perfume from the original maker. So um, I have a ton of these little guys here, um, five of these, <laughs> um, full of fragrance oils. So I'm not going to, because I have, ooh, <laughs> excuse me, because I have so many fragrances uh, and so many fragrance oils, I'm not going to touch on the comparison to the originals today um, or even how they wear compared to the originals simply because it would not be feasible with this many fragrances. What I will do is I will do a direct comparison like sniff test for two fragrances and then if there's any fragrances that I listed in this video for the oils that you would like a uh, video dedicated to comparing um, the oil perfumery version to the original, I'll do that in a separate video. So please feel free to leave that comment down below. I'd be more than happy to do that. So jumping right into the video, um, into the fragrances. So the first uh, fragrance oil that I have from them is uh, Black Saffron by Byredo. Um, so this one I really Mm, I really enjoy it. It's, it's so nice. Um, this one is, so the longevity, the production is not like beast mode. It's good, but it's not beast mode. It is, I would say moderate projection, moderate longevity. Um, the and the application style that I use for the fragrance oils is I will generally do one of three things for wearing. Um, I'll apply in, once I shower, I'll take some, generally some gold bond, unscented gold bond lotion, and I'll mix a little bit of the oil into my lotion and lather my body with it that way. I'll apply a little bit of the oil directly to my wrist, and then I also have um, 91% uh, perfuming alcohol, um, along with little, give me one second, <sighs> along with little, um, spray bottles, perfume bottles for decants, and I'll mix some of the perfuming alcohol in with the oil and spray down that way, um, and then for the fragrances that I have. The original two, I'll layer, I will do the oil in my lotion along with the oil here and then I'll spray some of the other, uh, the original over top. Um, that, the, the oil with the original is what gives me the best projection and longevity. It can last all day, last in your clothes, forever. I've even had some that last in my clothes after I've washed them, which kind of blows my mind. Um, but for by Black Saffron for by Byredo, um, it is so good. I, it's just, it kind of makes you just go like, huh. um, and then for a lot of these fragrances, I'll kind of give you an idea. Um, I love citrus, so if it has any citrus notes in it, I'm probably in love with it. Unfortunately, that does not lend itself to longevity. However, that is what it is. Also have a Gypsy Water. Now this one, a Gypsy Water, also by Byredo. This one does not project, it smells so good, but it does not project very well. Um, it's not very quiet, but it has, it's not like a skin scent, but it has a very 
like soft sillage um, and it does not last. Um, it quickly becomes a skin scent. So this one for Gypsy Water, you would have to definitely overspray. Um, and if you have the, for this one particularly, if you have the original, layering those two would give you the best outcome. Now, moving on, I have V uh, by Clive Christensen. So I have V by Clive Christensen, the male and the female version. So the difference here, <clears throat> the male version, it's more woody, like smoky. I have the fan like facing. Let me just. Yeah, it's it's a subtle difference to me. <clears throat> it's a subtle difference to me. These ones, um, I do not, I do not have the original of. I don't know for sure how those compare, but I like both of them. I just would use them differently. Um, then I have Frederick Mall Portrait of a Lady. This one is very much um, kind of grown woman -y. it reminds me of an older lady but it blends so well and it lasts so long the projection on this one is very nice um it's not beast mode they i actually do have some of these oils that are beast mode but not a lot of them um most of the oils from oil perfumery are soft to medium sillage with um, like a longevity of an eau de toilette. Some of them have the longevity of a eau de parfum and a few of them have the longevity of an extrait. Um, so I hope that that helps. So the next one I have is Hypnotic Poison. This one has always been my favorite, well, like not my favorite, but one of my top, top, top tiers as a little girl. Um, so I remember I would always uh, kind of get the perfumes that my mother didn't really like, not necessarily didn't want anymore, but that she didn't, uh, she'd share with me and she didn't, the ones that she didn't use too frequently the, that were not like her everyday reaches, which were pretty much anything except for a Sam Sarah, um, I would get and, um, as I got older, I started to get my own signature scents, which I have with me. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorites to borrow. <laughs> so, uh, Hypnotic Poison. So this one kind of like refreshed my memory because I have so many. This one has a soft sillage. It definitely is not a strong sillage but it blends into lotion very well. So this is definitely one of the ones that I make sure not just to layer on and then layer the perfume on top of. This one is one of the ones that I definitely recommend. You pop the cap, put a little bit into a small amount of lotion, mix it in, and then you have your perfume lotion, your perfume oil on top, and then if you so choose, adding your actual fragrance on top of that because this one has such a soft sillage that you, someone really has to be in your bubble to be able to smell it. Um, and I, some people like that. I'm very much a beast mode fragrance type of person. Um, but you know, it's nice to have the options. So this is the Misia by Chanel. So this one, this is so nice. This one is definitely not a skin scent, but it is not a beast mode fragrance either. I would say someone has to be in your immediate bubble and maybe arm's length in order to really get a good whiff. Um, so if someone, if you're like walking past someone somewhat close, not necessarily too close, but somewhat close, they will be able to smell this one and it is delightful. 
Um, the next one that we're going to go to is Spiritus Double Vinyl. Vini. Uh, and this is by Grandma. Um, this one is definitely, this has longevity, okay? Um, this one is easy to become overpowering also. It's not in the bottle, it doesn't smell, it smells moderate, okay? So in the bottle, it does have a moderate scent. However, once you apply it, if you're applying it the right way anyways, once you apply it, the sillage is quite heavy. It's not enormous, no, not an enormous sillage. Um, it's not a beast mode, but it is quite heavy. So this is one to kind of watch out for. Um, and it wears like an EDP. Um, the ones that I've mentioned previously, most wear more closely to an EDT. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that one. Um, the next one that I have is Hot Couture by Givenchy. This was my signature scent from the time when it was first released. Oh, this was my baby. To um, when it was kind of discontinued and relaunched somewhat. Um, this one, it has a medium sillage. It's a little bit, it's like a medium soft sillage. It's not quite soft, but it's not a full medium. It does not however wear as long as I would like it to. It wears more like an EDT. I very much wish it wore like an EDP. Um, actually layering on the EDT, however, does help. So uh, this is one of the ones that I will take time and compare because this is this was my signature for so many years. Um, and then, so here's what I'll do. I'll layer the oil on my left wrist and I'll layer the EDT on my right. Um, so keep in mind that the Hot Couture by Givenchy, not to be confused with um, Juicy Couture, that has nothing to do with that line. It's not even by the same fragrance house. Um, those the Hot Couture by Givenchy has been revamped and relaunched several times. I think this is the third remake of it. So, yeah. so this is more peppery. It's not as sweet or as, yeah, or as fruity. The pepper is the primary note that I'm picking up in the oil perfumery um, version, whereas, and it's a heavier pepper. If this is, yeah. It's a heavier pepper. The fruit does not come through as much. And um, it's a lot less sweet. You don't really smell the raspberries as much because it's overwhelmed by the pepper. It's like they blended it differently. And I really smell that. I don't know. Yeah, see, I like the EDT so much better. I don't like the EDT, the new EDT, as much as the original EDT. The projection is significantly less. Of course, I miss the EDP, um, but that was just continued quite a long time ago. But the original, so I don't know if you guys remember this, if you're familiar with this fragrance, but the original bottle had like a woman inside. It was the silhouette of a lady in silver inside. And then there was another bottle that had like a little stand poking out here. 
Um, those, both of them were my favorite. And no matter how, like, you know, I could be in sweatpants, running outside really quickly, and, you know, someone would stop me and be like, oh my God, you smell so good. Um, I pulled so many guys with that one. Uh, not even trying, not even gonna lie to you, not zero effort, zero effort. That was a zero effort, very sexy perfume for a young woman. Um, this one, less sexy, still nice, but significantly less sexy. The Hot Couture, this one from Oil Perfumery does not have that of course it doesn't have the same DNA exactly, but it doesn't have that like, ooh, let me stop you in the street and suddenly you're attractive type of oomph to it. So, um, I don't know, I hope that helps. Also, it does not wear as long. Um, it wears similar to the EDT, but not quite as well. It does layer well with it, so um, I hope that helps. I'm not sure. Uh, the next one that I'm going to touch on is Angel by Terry Mugler, which I also love. Um, that's been another one that I've worn my whole life. I know that there's so many people who don't really, who don't really care for it, but I've always loved it and I always get compliments when I wear Angel. Every single time. Um, it goes very well with my body chemistry. So I don't actually have that fragrance because generally when I buy Angel, I buy the, uh, the lotion instead of the perfume because the lotion has such strong projection and it's so much less expensive than the perfume. So why buy the fragrance? Um, I buy the fragrance lotion instead. Mm. Yeah, so the citrus right off the bat pops more and the lotion as well as the perfume because they're identical um, versus the oil perfumery version. Um, it's also it's more citry, citrusy, it's more sour, and the projection is way better. So, and honestly, Angel doesn't really need any help. Um, that is one that I would say you could skip, right? It's nice, it's sweeter, it's really enjoyable. Um, I would say if you're on the fence about Angel, you might find the oil perfumery one a little bit more palatable, but I love Angel just the way that it is. I would say out of all of them, and again, I said I'm not going to touch on it, so I'm not, but I would say out of all of the fragrances, that I, the oils that I have from oil perfumery, these are the two that are least similar. And I have actually taken the time in my, like, my own time uh, when I purchased each of the ones that I have the actual perfume to and smelled them side by side. So I can say this, this is why I brought these two out because these are the ones, out of all of my collection, these are the ones that are least similar to the original. They're about... Seventy-five percent there, but they're not quite there. The rest are closer to a 90, 95 or above. Okay, so I hope that helps. Um, Hot Couture it layers well with the oil, but it does change the DNA a little bit. Um, so I would say I would say go ahead and get that one simply because it will increase the longevity and the projection of the fragrance. Not that the fragrance needs an increase of projection because Hot Couture by Givenchy, the projection on that is amazing. Oh my gosh. 
the longevity however because it is an edt is not quite as good um the longevity on the edp the old edps was amazing i literally i could wash my clothes put it in the dryer take it back out still smell like hot couture i loved it um unfortunately that is discontinued so it the oil perfumery um version of hot couture if you purchase it and then you have the original hot couture edt it changes the edt to wear more like an edp um i have not actually mixed that one in with my lotion so perhaps if you mix it in with your lotion then do the apply the oil like i normally would for the rest and then apply the the um, EDT over top, it will wear more like an X-ray, I'm not sure, but applying just the oil, a good amount of the oil, and then applying the fragrance, the EDT on top, it applies, it wears more like a EDP. So just putting that out there. So that that is for me a wood purchase again. The Angel, however, it's a little, it's a little too different for me. It's like, I really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. And it's very similar. But the citrus, I and I'm, and I think this is because I'm such a hard, a diehard citrus lover, and I am such a diehard Angel fan. I love the original Angel. It has been something that I've, my mother has worn my whole life. And then I've worn my whole life, um, or most of my life. I would say the first time I wore Angel, I think I was even like eight, seven or eight. So <laughs> it's been a long time. Um, so because I am, that's how familiar I am with that scent. Mm, and I love it so much. This is a little too different for me. If the, for, if Angel was not, Angel's a beast mode fragrance, right? The lotion on its own, beast mode. And this costs about $35 to $40. I've had this for like two years, I think. Um, and it's still, it's a lot left in here because you don't need a lot of it. Um, and it, it goes hard. Angel on its own is a beast mode fragrance. It does not need a booster. And since it is the oil perfumery dupe is only about 75% accurate and the angel is a beast mode on its own, that would be one that I would skip. Okay, just my opinion. Um, and because it's not expensive. So you could just buy the, um, the lotion for a little bit more. And I feel like to me, that's, that's worth more. Um, now this is an oil perfumery original. It's Madrid meets a Lisbon. Um, it's, mm, it's so citrusy and it's so good. It just, this is definitely a morning scent and like a good weekday morning when you're wearing, you're running errands. This is, this has, I would say a projection that matches Angel, which is, Oh, I'm not going to stop sniffing myself because this feels so good. Um, this is, has a brown projection that meets the angel projection. So it, this is heavy leaning towards beast mode. Um, this stuff is good, good. Like, I fudge loving, love this stuff. Um, and it lasts a long time also. So <laughs> that is, I think, one of the only... Um, one of the only originals that I have from them. I think I maybe had one more, but I ran out of it. Uh, so on to the next one. I have Nasamato Fantomas. Um, so right off the bat, this is not one that I have the original of, but I was curious about it. So I bought the oil perfumery one. Um, this is one this is just it's weird right it's a good weird but it's weird it's confusing to the senses a little bit because it is so unique but it is 
I would say moderate sillage with the wear of an EDP. Okay. Um, now, let's swap these out. <clears throat> On to the next. Okay. Oud Wood by Tom Ford. Oh, this is so good. Mmm, it's so, so good. It's woody, it's oody, but it's not an oud that's off-putting, of course. If you're familiar with oud wood, you know this already. Um, also, it is, whoops, a little bit soapy. Um, at least that's what I smell. Mmm, so good. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit soapy. Um, this has good projection. This has, I would say, moderate leaning towards enormous projection with a very long wear. Um, definitely in with an EDP, possibly a X-trait type of wear. So expect a long wear out of this one. Um, then we have a Tom Ford Bitter Peach. This one I was so disappointed in. Um, <sighs> Cause it does smell really good, but the projection is not good. Um, the projection is not good on its own. You definitely need the help for projection for this guy, as well as for uh, longevity, because the longevity and projection on this one, disappointing. Um, tobacco Vini. So Tobacco Vini, also by Tom Ford. Mm, again, same thing as oud wood, and I think it's the wood in there um, and the tobacco in there. So the wood and the tobacco in these, I think, help with the projection and the longevity. This has enormous sillage, um, and it will choke you out. <laughs> it's definitely be said, so do be careful with this one. Uh, you do not need to layer the regular fragrance on top of that, or if you choose to, you know, I would say don't do it from here up. Lost Cherry. The Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. I love this scent so much, but the rejection and the sillage are not good. So the sillage is moderate, okay, but it's like a moderate soft. It's not a skin scent, but someone does have to be in your bubble. I would like to change the sillage to beast mode. I'm gonna try some stuff play around with it, see if I can make it beast mode. We shall see. Um, and the longevity, the longevity is garbage. It has the longevity of a body mist, possibly an EDT, um, but like a light EDT. So we're gonna play around with this. I've not given up on this. Um, if you would like, I can, if anyone's interested, I should say, I can do a video once I figure out the ins and outs of this guy. <laughs> um, on to the next, Tom Ford, a Soleil Blanc. So I'm gonna put this out here. I have not worn this one yet. Um, I smelled it, it smells good. Uh, it seems like it's gonna have moderate projection, um, but I don't know about the, um, longevity so it seems like it's gonna have long like moderate sillage but I'm not sure because this one has not been one that I've gotten around to I smelled it when I first purchased it and it just stuck it on the in my little holder okay um now dun 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 on to Explora by Bodusia the Victorious so this one this one I don't love so I do like it, but something there's something in it that kind of gives me a headache. It does have moderate sillage, and it has, I would say, moderate longevity, probably somewhere close in between. I would say somewhere in between an EDT and an EDP, or like the high end of an EDT. Okay, um, but that's without mixing it into the lotion. So whenever they have. I have any of these oil fragrances that have a like that I don't know how to describe it but that stingy quality where it's like almost headache inducing because it's so strong 
um because i love a beast mode fragrance but sometimes certain fragrances are beast mode but they're also like headachey i don't mix it into my lotion and i only apply a little bit so applying just a little bit um it has i would say a medium wear slight like, wears like a heavier edt but i think that if you mix it into lotion it would wear like a um a x straight but it's honestly too strong for me to do that so the next one that i have oh i love this one so much is a blue sapphire by bodacea the victorious this one has an amazing sillage um oh my goodness the projection is so good it wears like an edt but the higher end of an edt but the projection oh my goodness beast mode projection and it smells so good oh my gosh um now black opium by huaso okay so this one mm -hmm, beast mode immediate beast mode which is crazy because it smells so soft coming out of the bottle, but when you apply it, as long as you apply it correctly, it has enormous sillage, enormous projection. It has beast mode performance. It lasts for so long, all day. Um, I think I worked a 10 or 12 hour shift and I still smelled it. It was closer to the skin. It definitely was inside my bubble, but it was very good on my clothes. And when I passed by someone, they could still smell it. So love, 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 definite, hell yeah. Um, then I have Sora by Tatiana Torenzi. Um, This one, <coughs> mm, excuse me. This one definitely has that steamy quality. Um, it has moderate projection. I would say it wears like an EDP, so definitely you're getting a nice long wear out of this one. Um, that is one of the ones that I did not apply to, like add into lotion. So just keep that in mind. Um, then I, we have a Libre Intense by YSL. Enormous projection, enormous beast mode projection, okay? Um, it wears like an EDT, yeah, it wears like an EDT. So it does not last that long by itself. Um, even layered into lotion, right? I think I got maybe four to, four to five hours out of this. Yeah, four to five hours out of this, um, even layering it into lotion, okay? But it is beast mode. So this is one that you would have to reapply midday, um, but it's easy to do so, right? Um, and when I say beast mode, beast mode, and it's so good, spot on deliciousness. Um, the next one that I have, oh, I'm kind of skipped around, sorry. Aphrodite, again, Tatiana Terenzi. Um, this one has a softer sillage, right? Softer projection, um, not quite a skin scent, if, her, if applied correctly, but definitely kind of in your bubble. I would say like right here is where you're gonna smell it. So if someone does have to be close to you, in order to get a good whiff of this one um if you want beast mode projection which always assume that i do because i always do uh you definitely would have to layer this with the original fragrance to up that projection because it is a light wear okay and it quickly becomes a skin scent um wears like an ed edt okay the next one Gentle Goad Fluidity by Mason Francis Curtijan. Um, Curtijan, uh, so good. Again, it's a tight bubble. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's quite right here. It's maybe like right here, right? Like maybe right here. If you pass by someone, you will smell it. Uh, they will smell it, um, wears like an EDP, so it's a little bit longer lasting, 
but it I would say after like four hours it becomes a skin scent so just keep that in mind again reapply um, the next I don't know what all this yelling is so I don't know if you hear the yelling in the background um, but sorry um, the next one also by Mason Francis Kirchon is a Baccarat Rouge 540 um, if you know Baccarat you are you will know it's already a beast mode fragrance you definitely do not need this oil perfumery version if you already have Baccarat however even if you have a beast mode fragrance especially if it's a more of a niche fragrance you kind of it's nice to have these because it stretches your fragrance so you don't have to repurchase as soon right so baccarat this on its own though beast mode beast mode beast mode beast mode enormous projection and nor like enormous projection enormous sillage the sillage is out of this world and the longevity out of this world this is one that you can get about 12 hours out of without adding the fragrance on top so you can add you can go really light with both if you choose to pair them together okay um these out all right so on to the next one Hindu Kush by Mancera oh, this one is one this is so silly but I'm scared to wear it to work because I don't know oh like it does not smell like marijuana to me but I I just I'm always concerned about that um, but back to the fragrance it has very like good projection it has i would say heavy projection heavy sillage wears long wearing wears like an edp um and it is amazing definitely would not miss out on that one um the next one is black gold also by mancera mm so good um i'm not a huge powdery person but i do love a little i do like a little bit of powder this i would say i really smell the powder in this one i enjoy it so much this i would say is not beast mode um hindu kush is bordering on beast mode but not quite it's heavy this i would say is moderate bordering on heavy um it does have long projection i would say somewhere in between an edt and an edp so maybe six hours but amazing definite purchase um then we have mancera red tobacco <sighs> i love you so much um so this one it's so weird to have a um like a sweet tobacco so every time i smell this one um where whether it's this one or the original i'm like you're so weird that I love you so much <laughs> um but anyways uh I would say this is a softer but it's like a softer medium it's not a true soft it's a softer medium in terms of uh projection sillage um and I would say the same in terms of longevity it's a solid EDT okay so it's, it's going to wear like an EDT. It's not going to wear like an EDP. Neroli Sauvage by Creed. This is a beast mode, right? Um, oh my God, I love this. I'm addicted to this. Um, Neroli Sauvage by Creed. Definitely a beast mode. Enormous sillage. Very long wearing. Wears like an X straight. It is amazing. I love it if you have the original fragrance and you layer these two together ma'am sir oh my god so good if you do not do not worry because this by itself 
wears like an x ray if applied correctly. It is so good. I, I, there's not even words. It's so good. So many compliments will be had. The same thing goes for Flamenco um, by Ramon Monegal. If I can get it open. Okay, there we go. The same thing goes for Flamenco by Ramon Monegal. Uh, beast mode beast mode enormous siage very long wearing will get you tons of compliments you do not need the original for those if you choose not to get it i would say that in terms of before we go on to the next one i would say that in terms of the, the longest wearing ones that i have and the, the strongest ones that i have baccarat rouge uh, Creed Aventus, um, let me see, Baccarat Rouge, Creed Aventus, Neroli Sauvage, and Ramon Manigal Flamenco. Um, those are the ones that have the best projection. Those are certified beast mode fragrances in the oil perfumery versions. So if you are someone who does not have the originals, these are amazing, amazing alternatives, much cheaper, and still wears like a beast, like a fudge-loving beast, okay? Um, I, yeah, beast mode performance, enormous pro projection, enormous sillage, I love it. Creed Aventus. Um, you do not necessarily need the original for those if you do not have it. If you have the original, they layer beautifully. Um, it will save your pocketbooks because if you're an oversprayer, it will save your pocketbooks if you're an oversprayer. Just saying, putting that out there. The next one I have is Raja Dove Oligarch. Um, again, this has, I would not quite put this with beast mode projection, but it is, um, it does have a heavy sillage. Heavy sillage if applied correctly. Uh, moderate wear, I would say closer to an EDP than an EDT, uh, but not quite to the level of an X-Trait, but it is amazing. Um, the next one that we have is a 24, Faber, Faber, the 24 Faber by Hermes. This one is beast mode, but I don't know if it's necessarily beast mode in a way that I like. So this one has enormous projection, enormous sillage. Um, I don't know why I just keep repeating myself with, you know, those are synonyms, but um, this one has enormous sillage, but the, like, the projection is out of this world. And it's very long lasting. It wears closer to a, like somewhere between an x rate an EDP and an x rate But it also can be a little bit headache inducing and you will not be able to wash it off. So please be careful. Um, if you like this one, like if you like this fragrance, you will love this, but like keep it below the, below the, I would say, below the waist um you put it above the waist at your own risk i you know maybe you could wear it on the elbow okay but i wouldn't put it on your wrist um because the wrist kind of goes by the face more often than the elbow like how often are you going to do something like that um and then anywhere above the chest is going to be a we're at your own risk it does not wash off um Tully de Hermes my Hermes of course enormous enormous projection enormous sillage like the, uh, longevity I mean the beast mode again with the beast mode um and this one gets me a lot of compliments also it is very much mature so just keep that in mind also, I will list each of these fragrances down below. If you want me to make an individual video about any of these oil perfumery versions or the original versions, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, 
because I'm trying to like just go really quickly. And then one thing I will touch on is I have multiple Twillies. I have multiple of some of these kinds because um, I have some from Fragrant Body Oils. So I can also do a video comparing these two brands. Um, but that's not why we're here today. So I just putting that out there. So several of these oils, I have both companies version of them and they're very different um so lazy sunday morning replica mason margella um this one moderate sillage moderate wear wears closer to an ebt but the longer end of an ebt okay so this is definitely one that you would reapply midday or you could switch up your fragrance midday again um i have the lazy sunday morning from this brand and lazy sunday morning from this brand as well as the actual fragrance lazy sunday morning so um if you want me to do a video on any of those um or if you're wondering which ones i have both oil versions of let me know so um again replica mason margella uh, beach walk this time this one has a very soft light sillage um, it is very much a in your bubble but it's a tight bubble so if you go to give someone a hug they'll smell it um, if you are um, like close to someone looking at a document or something they'll smell it but outside of that um, maybe a whiff if whiff here or there they're not really gonna smell it. It does wear like an EDT, but it's a very soft fragrance. It's close bubble. Uh, I wouldn't say that it necessarily is quick to become a skin scent, but it is not, it's a tight bubble, okay? Um, a replica by the fireplace, Mason Margiela. Um, this one, moderate soft, so medium soft, Siage and slash projection um, and wears like an EDT. Pairs very well with the original fragrance, boosts that performance without you actually using more um, of the like the fragrance spray, but it definitely wears more like an EDT than anything else. Um, Replica Jazz Club, again, and Mason Margiela. This one has moderate leaning towards heavy projection with a moderate wear. So I would say this wears more like an EDP than an EDT. So kind of an all day wear. It stays really well on your clothes. Again, I can do a video showing you application techniques um, and showing, cause we've talked about it, but I can show you, show you if you would like. Uh, moving on, Whew, this is a long one guys, sorry, um, so the next one that I have is Casa Marati, uh 188 Latoka, mm, this one is a full moderate projection with a um, medium wear, so I would say anywhere between an EDT and an EDP depending on application um so that one all of them application matters but that one definitely has a very different wear depending on your application okay then we have Udin from um so oh, there you go. can you see it then we have Udin from Zhezhov also this one has a heavy projection um leaning towards enormous but not quite enormous i would say it's it's heavy projection but it has a moderate wear so it wears about six hours so in between an edt and an edp um very good though so um the next one is a zhirzhov cosmerati 188 lira Mmm, so good. This one um, is a 
like a medium soft sillage. Um, the, I wouldn't say it's a tight bubble for sure, but it's like full arm's length bubble. Um, and the longevity is decent, but it is closer to an EDT. So you would have to reapply, okay? Then, dun dun dun, we have Killian um, Gold Oud, which is a Middle East exclusive. Um, this one has very, very firm, enormous sillage. Like the projection on this is a thousand percent beast mode, but it is easy to become overpowering. And this does wear all day. Um, I think I got a full 12 hours out of this and it was still in my clothes. Um, so definitely be careful with this one because it is a killer. Okay. Then we have Intoxicated also by Killian. This one, let's see. This one, I don't think I've worn. Yeah. No, I have not worn this one. So this one. It smells like it's going to be a soft sillage from the bottle, but that sometimes can be deceiving. Um, but I have not actually, like I, like I said, there's some of these that I smelled, I, I like put into the little container, but I have not had an opportunity to wear them just yet. Um, so this is one of those. So intoxicated Killian, I'll let you know as soon as I know. But it, from the smell of it, it smells like it's going to be um, a like a bub a tight bubble for the uh projection so killian back to black um this one yeah so this one was a not a tight bubble but it was like arm's length so medium projection um it wore like an edt not an EDP. It definitely was one that I needed to bring with me to reapply. Um, it kind of reminds me of Shalimar, the EDT, and how it wore. I hope that helps. Um, the next one is Killian Moonlight in Heaven. Okay. This one is medium projection, so I would say full arm's length wears like an EDT okay um now we are on to I'm not sure if I did this one but I'm gonna do this one hopefully not again criminal of love um Killian this one yeah uh heavy projection enormous projection in fact enormous wear wears all day um can be a little bit headache inducing so I would say not necessarily below the chest but like below the boobs right or pecs um, but I would say like boobs but not neck not ears not shoulders not um, wrists um, yeah because otherwise you might choke yourself out uh, the next one is Oud and Bergamot by Joe Malone This one was medium projection with a medium wear. So wears like somewhere in between an EDT and an EDP, um, but layers really well. Um, then we have a Jo Malone, uh, Rock of the Age of, oh, Rock of the Ages. Okay, Joe Malone, Rock the Ages uh, with birch and black pepper. This one was a medium, like a moderate sillage with a moderate wear. So wears, wears like an EDT um, and I would say almost full arms, but kind of like, like here, okay, for projection. The next one is the Joe Malone uh, Sorrel Lime and Thyme. This one was, I don't think, 
Mm, okay, so this is not one that I've worn yet. Okay, so Sora Lime and Time, I'll have to come back and answer that one because it smells like a soft projection, but it's not one that I've actually worn yet. I had to kind of give myself a sniff reminder. Uh, Joe Malone Pomegranate Noir. This one had heavy sillage, very, very much heavy, bordering on enormous, and it was pretty long wearing. It wore like an EDP. I got about a full eight to nine hours out of this bad boy. Um, also, even though it has enormous sillage, unless I am specifically saying it is not a headache, it was not for me a headache inducing. Um, so, Cam Dow by Diptyque. This one was moderate sillage, full arm's length away um, in terms of projection and a moderate wear or like an EDT, EDT bordering on an EDP, okay? So I would say depending on your day, maybe reapply, but not a definitely definite reapplication. I did forget about this one. This one is Jo Malone, a lime, basil, and mandarin. This one... I love this one so much. Oh, I love it so much. Um, this wears very well. It has heavy projection. Not quite enormous. I would say a solid heavy about here. Um, and it, it wears like an EDT. So it definitely is one that you would have to reapply midday. But you're going to get a solid four to five hours out of it. It's with, with amazing projection the entire time. Okay. The next one that I have is Saponade by Perfumes de Molly. Um, this one was, okay, so I wouldn't say quite a tight bubble, but I would say like maybe here, right? So not quite, somewhere in between soft and moderate in terms of projection. Um, and I wore like a, like, maybe six hours um if applied correctly i will say that so that one again this is one that makes a difference the application makes a big difference um i do have a few more that i would like to touch on um that i will be receiving in the next couple of days because i have run out of them um so as you can see it's empty so i have a few that are empty so i'm not going to touch on them today um i'll do a um a part two for this video but i hope that this helps someone um i'm not sure i guess what else to answer for this um but if you are curious about the wear for some of these that's why i put out this video um if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'd be more than happy to answer those questions um, as soon as I possibly can. Um, and if you are not, which you're not going to be, um, I'm going to ask you to subscribe down below so that you can see the part two of this video and then whenever I come back to answer any questions, um, you can see those videos as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this video was helpful to someone. I hope that you enjoyed watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.